Hello class! So for this video, pag-usapan naman natin on how to design a double reinforced beam. So same sa ating singly na reinforced beam, pag-usapan muna natin kung saan galing yung mga formulas na ginagamit natin on designing a double reinforced beam. So kailan nga ba nagagamit si double na reinforced beam? So nagagamit siya if hindi kaya or hindi pwedeng lahat ng air ng steel is nasa tension na side. So, hindi kakasya yung lahat ng uh, area ng steel sa tension side. So, therefore, nilipat natin yung katumbas or nung uh, portion na hindi kaya niya into our compression side. So, take note plus uh, review natin that if we have our beam or cross-section and we have our load na nasa itaas, we have two sides, di ba? So, Compression side na nasa itaas, tension yung nasa ibaba. So therefore, yung area ng steel na kailangan natin sa tension side, hindi niya o hindi siya pwede. So therefore, nililipat natin yung excess na portion papunta sa ating compression na side. So therefore, yan yung tinatawag natin ng doubly na reinforced beam. So therefore, discuss natin kung paano na-derive yung mga formula niya. So here, for example, we have our beam. As you can see, we have our doubly. No? So, dalawa siya. Nasa baba ay nasa itaas yung kailangan natin na mga reinforced na ah, tawag dyan, na bakal. Kung, kung baga. So, therefore, same pa din tayo yung depth natin, which is D. That is the effective depth of our beam. Diba? So, that is from the topmost layer papunta sa center of gravity ng ating Uh, tension side na bakal. So, therefore, that is our D. No? Next is our B. That is the width of our beam. And meron din tayong tinatawag na D prime. So, what is D prime? That is the same pa din. No? Topmost ng ating beam papunta po sa ating compression na side na mga bakal na, uh, na center of gravity. So, that is our D prime. So, magagamit natin yan mamaya. Okay? So, Let us discuss about its strain diagram. Ayan. So this is the strain, strain diagram of a doubly reinforced beam. So same pa din. Yung nasa itaas is 0.003. Then yung sa center of gravity sa ating tension aside is 0.005. So therefore, yung saan na-locate yung ating compression aside na mga bakal, that is tinatawag natin na ES prime, and the distance... From the top of the beam, papunta sa center of gravity where walang strain dyan. No? Yung strain natin dyan is zero that is equivalent to C or denoted as C which is equivalent to 0.375 ng ating total depth or ng ating, sorry, effective depth that is D. Ayan. Okay, so in order for us to analyze this one, i-separate natin siya. First thing is yung kaya lang o kaya lang makater sa tension side na area. How about yung hindi na, hindi na niya makater na area? So, i-separate natin, bigyan natin ng pangalan AS2. So, yung makater niya, AS1. Yung hindi na niya makater na area, that is AS2. So, therefore, AS natin total is equivalent to AS1 plus AS2. Ayan. So, discuss natin yung makaya lang niya na area. So, this is its graph or shall I say, ah, tawag dyan, figure. Ayan. So, this is its force diagram. Kumbaga. So, yung makaya lang niya na area that is AS1 that nagpuproduce po siya ng tension. No? Na force. Which is, tawagin naman din nating T1. So, therefore, T1 is equivalent to AS1 multiplied by Fy. No? This is the strength of our steel, Fy. So therefore, with that, no, kasi siya yung kailangan natin para ma-counter natin yung compression na force. ba? Diba? So na-discuss natin to sa singly dahil sa stress natin yung ating meron tayong force sa itaas o meron tayong stress sa taas na ganyan yung figure. And then meron tayong scientist ba yun na no? ginawa niya is To make it easier, and in order for us to compute that, ginawa niyang uniformly distributed. So, yung ating figure na ganyan, no, kinonvert niya, this is our Fc prime. 
na kinonvert niya into multiply down niya ng 0.85 in order for this height to become ayan 0.85 fc prime so naging uniformly distributed na siya so i hope that you will watch our first video yung singly kasi na-explain ko doon kung paano okay so 0.85 fc prime and then yung kanyang distance is tinatawag natin A. That is the distance or the height of our compression block. So therefore, in that area, dyan, dyan yung nag occur yung ating compression na stress. So therefore, in order for us to compute the force itself, that is just the area of this compression block. So that is 0.85 FC prime multiplied by A, which is ang A natin is beta multiplied by our C. So, small c, di ba? So, yung C natin, multiplied mo lang yung beta, di ba? Pag 2010, 2015, meron siyang formula, which is 0.85. If 28 megapascal, as far as my memory is concerned, di ba? If it is get greater than naman, medyo mahaba na yung formula for beta natin. So, sige lang, review lang natin yung ating mga formulas mamaya. Okay? So, therefore, Multiply natin by A, then multiply natin ng B natin, which is the width of our beam. So here we have our CC. That is the force coming from our compression block. Diba? So therefore, gali, kailangan natin i-counter yan. Diba? So therefore, yan yung nabuo yung AS1 natin, which is your tension 1 natin. Diba? So... Take note class na hindi pa yan sapat. Ah, sana oh, hindi pa sapat. No? Binigay mo na lahat, pero hindi pa sapat. So therefore, kailangan natin ng AS2. Kaya nga sabi ko kanina, that is just, ito, yan yung, ito lang yung makater sa baba, which is si AS1. So therefore, meron tayong AS2. So paano yan? Ilalagay. No? So yung AS2 natin na kailangan niya, no? pero hindi naman yun pwede sa baba, no? ilalagay na lang po natin sa itaas. So therefore, we need an area of a steel na ilalagay natin sa compression side para masuffice yung kulang sa baba. Diba? So therefore, AS prime yan. So paano yan? Paano kukunin yung ating area na nasa itaas? So take note, we have our AS2. So therefore, we have our T2. No? That is our tension of force. That is equivalent to AS2 multiplied by Fy. So, sabi ko kanina, we need to counter that one, di ba? Para ma-zero siya, para malagay natin sa itaas. So, therefore, as we all know, no, yung nasa itaas natin is AS prime, FS prime, di ba? So, yan yung katumbas niya. Pero, take note class na may deduction siya ng compression yung existing na nasa itaas. So, that is 0 0.85. FC prime ng ating AS prime. No? So, ito yung compression na side natin, compression block no, na magharang sa kanya. So, therefore, ang ginawa lang dito is finactor out lang po yung AS prime. So, AS prime, FS prime minus 0.85 FC prime. So, that is our CS, no? compression natin na side. So, therefore, dito na mga figures na nandito, makukuha natin yung mga formulas in determining the number of bars na kailangan natin, yung total na area na kailangan natin, and pa, ano yung kailangan natin na area sa compression side and sa tension side. Okay? So, try natin. So, if we are talking about the tension steel, di ba? Review natin. Tension steel is yung nasa baba. Then, compression steel is yung nasa itaas. Di ba? So, pag-usapan natin kung ano yung area ang total area na kailangan natin sa ibaba that is for tension steel. So, paano siya nakuha yung mga formulas? Ang ginawa natin or gagawin natin is i-equate natin na si CC is equivalent to T1. ba? Kasi need natin yan. Kasi moment natin is dapat zero. So, therefore, CC natin must be equivalent to T1 para ma-zero yung moment natin. Okay? So, therefore, AS1FY must be equivalent po sa 0.85 FC prime AB natin. So, ayan siya. Okay? So, with that equation, ilipat lang po natin to the other side sa FY. So, makukuha na natin sa AS1. ba? Yan lang po yung needed sa baba or kailangan niya. ba? So, yung excess is ilalagay na natin sa itaas. ba? Okay. So, for number two, determine natin yung moment. 
na makaya lang ng ating tension side, di ba? So, M2 is equivalent to Mn minus M1. Take note, class, that yung Mn, that is our nominal or total natin yan na moment na makaya sa whole beam natin. And take note, M2 natin is coming from this one. Ayan. Yung excess na siya. Diba? Take note na yung Mn, yan lang yung makakaya ng moment ng ating beam. Ayan. So pag-usapan natin yung moment, if yung total moment natin is greater than our Mn, so therefore, ah, sorry, Mn, ayan, kailangan na natin hatiin. Diba? So therefore, yung M1 and then yung M2. Diba? Kasi pag hindi kaya ng ating total or mas malaki yung total natin kaysa kay MN, yan yung ibig sabihin na doubly reinforced beam na yung kailangan natin. So therefore, ang ibig sabihin yan, yung M2 natin is equivalent to yung MN natin minus yung M1 natin. Diba? So yan yung ating formula. M2 is equivalent to MN minus M1. And take note sa ating singgi na lesson natin that MN multiplied by phi, that is our mu. Diba? So therefore, ilipat lang natin ito sa kabila. Ayan. Mn is equivalent to mu multiplied by our phi. So therefore, ayan siya, mu. No? Substitute lang natin siya. Diba? So therefore, proceed tayo. So next thing is we need to solve for our AS2. Diba? Kasi yung M2 natin, yan yung excess na moment. So therefore, yung kanina, yung M2, ito yung excess na moment. So we need to balance that one no, para maging zero. So therefore, that is ASF2 o AS2. Ayan. So dahil sa M2 natin, we have our AS2. Yan siya. AS2 multiplied by FY equate din natin must be equivalent to ng... Uh, Sensya, so, nawala ko ay ito, ito. Sorry. Ayan siya. So, AS2FY, multiply mo lang ng D minus D prime, di ba? Para magkaroon tayo, no? mabalance siya sa M2 natin. So, M2 is equivalent to AS2F, AS2FY multiplied by its lever arm. So, paano nakuha si D minus D prime? Uh, take note, we have our D or total depth, di ba? We are talking about lever arm. So, dito papuntang dyan. So, therefore, we have our D prime. So, i-deduct mo lang siya. So, we can have our D minus D prime. So, ayan na. Nakuha na natin si M2. That is just the force multiplied by our lever arm. So, with that class, makukuha na natin si AS2. Diba? Kasi ililipat lang natin to lahat to the other side. Makukuha natin si AS2. So, AS1, yan lang yung uh, area na makikater sa baba. AS2, yan yung ililipat natin to the other side sa compression na side. So, therefore, AS is equivalent to AS1 plus AS2. So, therefore, yung AS1, ulitin natin, that is the area of steel sa tension side. Paano naman si AS2? So, yan yung ililipat natin sa compression steel. Diba? So, tingnan natin dito ulit. Ayan. Determine the stress in the compression steel. So, paano siya kunin? Paano natin i-convert si AS2 into AS prime? Diba? So, take note that FS natin is equivalent to 600 multiplied by 1 minus D prime over C. Diba? If we need a compression steel, diba? which is lesser than or equal to FY natin. So, saan ito galing? Na-derive lang din siya dito sa figure natin. No? Na multiply lang yan siya galing sa ating FS prime. Okay? So, next natin is equate natin. Dito na tayo sa other the figure. Diba? So, we need to equate that CS must be equivalent to T2. Yan yung na-explain na natin kanina. This is our excess na area dahil sa ating moment na excess. So, therefore, equivalent natin ang equal natin siya. T2 is equivalent to CS. So, therefore, AS2FY must be equivalent to this value. So, yan, nilagay siya. Equivalent. So with that class, this is our AS2 galing dito. So therefore, we can solve for our AS prime. So pag meron tayong AS prime, i-divide mo lang yan sa area ng bars na gusto mo. One, area, uh, one bar. So therefore, makukuha mo na yung iyong 
number of parts na kailangan sa itaas. Okay? So, I hope that medyo na-clear kayo. No? I- proceed lang tayo or sundin mo lang yung process na sinabi ko or this process itself. Then, you can solve anything sa ating doubly reinforced beam or you know how to design na. Okay? So, how about this one? Para pag sinabi ng ating uh, problem na balance steel ratio. A solve or design a beam with a balance steel ratio. So, pag ganyan class, ito yung gagamitin natin na formula. No? Rho balance na for doubly reinforced beam. That is just rho balance sa singly. I-add mo lang yung excess, di ba? Yung excess natin which is AS2 over BB. So, therefore, if we are talking about or if we need or if we assume that the displaced concrete is neglected, di ba? So, for example, here we have our beam. We have our tension aside na steel. So, sabi ko kanina, meron tayong excess na AS2. So, yan yung ilalagay natin sa itaas. Di ba? So, pag maglalagay ka ng steel sa taas, therefore, meron tayong excess na concrete. Di ba? Patong uh, yung i-replace niya na area. So, for computation, no? Ay, nineglect na lang siya. So, kinukuha na lang siya. Hindi na lang yan siya kinu, uh, kinu-compute. Di ba? So, Yan yung, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. So, Fs prime over Fy. So, what if equal siya, Fs prime is equivalent to Fy, which is yung compression natin is nag -yield. So, therefore, pag ganyan, that is equivalent to 1. So, hindi na lang siya nilalagay. So, how about if sinabi naman ng ating uh, tawag dyan, problem that yung ating maximum steel yung gagamitin. So, Yan lang, yung maximum lang yung gagamitin mo. Diba? Diba? Take note class, uh, magagamit pa din natin yung mga formulas sa singly natin, yung sa balance. No? So you need to take note of or jot down notes for that. Kasi magagamit din natin siya. Same din sa maximum na mga formulas. Ayan, for singly reinforced beam. Okay, same pa din, Fs over Fy if displaced concrete is neglected. Pag compression yields, meaning Fs prime and Fy is the same. So, equivalent to 1. Okay? So, I hope that you have learned sa ating mga formulas kasi gagamitin na natin siya. Proceed na tayo sa ating examples.